Okay, I'm going to go over 6-31 harmonization. This is on page 154. 164. Sally go round. Okay, what key are we in? E flat, e -flat major. So I'm going to write my whole E flat major scale out here. I wrote out my chords for my left hand. Does everybody see that? The one, four, five, one. So in my left hand, I'm either going to be playing my one chord, my four chord, or my five chord. How do we know when to do what? Depends on how many notes are, which notes are in the, in the measure made up of. Correct. So we have four dashes for line one, and we have four dashes for line two. We get three freebies. What are they? First is the tonic. We're always going to start on tonic. Second to last is the dominant. We almost always end preceding the tonic at the end with a dominant. And then the end is the tonic. And we end on a tonic. Okay. Again, we have to take into consideration all the scale degrees, all the tones of the right hand melody from dash to dash. Now, what is my breakdown? I'm going to play the tonic when my right hand is primarily scale degrees. One, three, or five. I'm going to play a four when my right hand melody is primarily scale degrees. Two, four, five, seven. One. You're thinking of five. Oh. One. Or four. Or six. And then we're going to play our five chord when my right hand melody tones are primarily scale degrees. You said it, Alan. Yeah. Uh, two, uh, two, four, five, seven. Two, four, five, seven. Okay, so I'm going to write those numbers above my scale here. So measure one's taken care of, or dash one, I should say. Dash two has a B flat, which is scale degree five. Scale degree five can be the dominant or scale degree five could be the tonic. What are you gonna choose? Five. You could choose the five. You could choose the tonic. You could get away with either. I personally like the tonic there. But that doesn't mean anything. Okay, next dash, I have C, 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 C. C, 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 C is a bunch of sixes. Four. Only the subdominant four chord has a six in it. So we're going to go to the four chord there. And the last dash of line one is a B flat. It's this 1-5 thing again. Both are right. you got to make a choice. That's an option. That's an option. That's an option. There's a bunch of options now, right? What's that? Now that I hear it, I don't think I like the five on the four two. I won you over. All right, line two. My next dash has E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, F. One, 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 two. What are you going to put in there? You want the tonic in there? 
Another thing to consider is structurally what's going on. Is it the end of a phrase? Is it the beginning of a phrase? Are we at a cadence point? Okay, dash six. G, 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 G. G is scale degree three. The only chord with three in it is harmonic. So there's your whole answer for Sally Go Round. I'm going to play it, but I'm going to choose one and one. And this is what it sounds like. Did it work? You don't have to choose one and one like I did. But you could. And then they want us to transpose it to F major. Questions? 